Welcome everyone to this third video tutorial of the series image comparison. We have seen in the first video if two images, two images are equal or not. In the second video, if two images that are not equal are at least similar. Now in the third video, we will see if two images are similar, how similar they are, how much they are similar. Let's get into practice right now. We could say, for example, here we have the, the good points. Two images are similar if they have above a certain number of good points. For example, now we are comparing the original Gondel Bridge with the texture uh, with the same Im image with texture effect. Let's see now the result. The result is 680 matches and here we see the result. So we can say for example if the images have more than 500 matches they are equal 60% if they have more than one times on matches they're equal 70% and so on in theory yes but we need to keep something in mind we found so many matches like 620 because the original size of the image is really big they are full HD images so we can for example open this one original golden bridge which full size probably is this one is this big so that's why we find so many matches while if we take smaller images like for example this one residential house it's likely that we're going to find only few features and so we cannot say above 500 will be similar in less not because probably we, we won't even find 500 features in the original in the original image so it's impossible to find 500 matches that's why we should apply some uh, proportion to the number of features found let's see an example um, in this part we find the key points of the first image and key points of the second image so we can print the length of uh, key points so we can see how many features each image has. So we print uh, key points first image and then plus string the length of key point one. So how many elements are inside this key points one and the same for the second image key point second image and key point two while these are the matches so we can say print good matches let's see uh, let's leave it this way comma and let's increase the ratio test to 0 0.6 just a, a quick explanation about this ratio test the distance define how good the matches are the smaller the distance the better are the matches the greater the distance, the lower the quality, but also we find more matches. So it's likely that if you put if you put 0 0.1, you will find really few matches in the images. So sometimes it's hard to detect them. If you put like one, you will find too many matches and probably many false one. So we can find some balance like 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. You can test it uh, many times and see what fits best, best for your need. 
Now let's run this code right now. So we will see the number of the key points and then how many matches we get from such number of key points. In the first image we got 6704 key points, in the second image 9798. And the good matches are just 300 and uh, 3352, which it's pretty de decent. You can see these are the images that we are comparing. So there is this region, this some texture effect. We could say, for example, we could take the number of the feature of the image that, that has less. So 6704 and divide this number by the good matches. And then we can find the proportion and give a percentage from zero to 100 the percentage. Let's try this way. In this case it's key point. Which one had less? I forgot. Probably the, fir uh, the first one, it will be key point one divided by matches print uh, well, let's say how good it's the match let's print this way No, 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 it's not key point, but it's the length of the key points and the length of the, the matches. Uh, we're talking, uh, otherwise I'm I'm taking like the key points, not only the number, but also the value, also the matches. We're taking the value, which it's not the right thing to do. It's only about number in this case. How good is the match? Uh, one. No. Okay, because I'm taking all the matches while I need to take only the good points. Good points. But let's improve it. We need to take only the lower the lower number. So if of the matches so key points to consider let's call it this way it's equal to zero number key points let's say number number key points is equal to zero then if length the key points one is greater than the length of the key points two, let's say greater or equal, the key points two, then, and also there is a mistake, greater or equals, then we're going to, we said that we're going to take the smaller one, so let's say if it's lower, it's lower, then we're, we're going to take number key points it's equals to length of key points one else number key points equals to the length of key points two then we call we could find a percentage and Yes, probably there is, I should do it in the opposite, key points one, good points. How can we find a percentage? We divide, we divide the part, so the smaller number, in this case the, the good points, the length of the good points, with the whole points, 
so the number of key points and then we multiply them by 100 this is the way to find the percentage and let's run the code I guess as we had the le uh, half half of good matches so it's the the lower is 6704 and the match the good matches are around half so percentage is around 50 percent uh, let's see what we get oh, exactly 50 percent so it's incredible good matches three thousand three hundred seventy two how good is the match fifty percent let's try now with this code with the duplicate of the original image and It's a bit slow. Okay, as you see, original image, 6,000 points, 6,704 6, points each image. Good, good matches, all of them. How good is the match? 100%. Let's try with some other images. Um, show an explorer. Some image that looks not exactly the same. This one, old photo. Let's see how similar it detects this one. Old, let's try old photo. So the same now we can try with the image. It's loading, I will, I will find this residential house, for example. We can work with, with this one, which is really small, so we can see how the ratio, this ratio test of the percentage work. In the meantime, how good is the match? It's 35% between these two images, 35% similarity. Or we can try with a complete different image um, let's instead of try, let's still keep only to this for the moment I have this image of different golden bridge so you can see that if the image uh, the original is this one this is of course it's the same bridge uh, golden bridge in San Francisco but it's different probably it's the the picture is taken in a different season from different camera from different position you, you can see it's uh, really really different how will our algorithm work with this let's see different golden gate bridge uh, let's copy the title okay Six thousand seven hundred four key points for the first image, seven thousand four hundred twenty for the second image. Only six good matches, and probably it works even really well. You can see this part of the bridge; it's of course really similar to this one. Really nice, and the images are similar, just zero point zero eight eight nine percent. So we'll say that this script is really solid. You can try by yourself with different images, with your own set of images will be much better. And we will see how to still develop it further in the next video. For the moment, thanks for watching.